like a little spin of the outfit. Yeah, it's oh, sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 our style is dumb and dumber, but make it gaiety, frankly. Right, yeah, make it right. I love that. Perfect. So what does it mean to you to be standing on a carpet and really talking about this film with everything going on in the world right now? Um, I mean, it's 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 crazy. We only found out a week ago that uh, we got an interim agreement. Right. And, you know, it's just, it's we feel lucky that a little company like A24 can make a deal with the union and meet their terms, even when trillion dollar tech companies won't. Yes. So. And what are you hoping audiences take away from a movie like this? We hope they say it's the funniest movie they've ever seen and they take all their friends and come back. I hope they're like, I ain't never seen something like that in the theaters. And then they rally all their friends and go back and see it again. It is a movie for you to go with a big crowd and sort of scream at. You know what I mean? So we're yeah, hoping it clap. feels very communal and crazy. Mm -hmm. You're encouraging, you know, theaters to, pe to talk and like go against all etiquette. You were just saying, you know, it premiered in Toronto as a midnight movie. And, and it no was matter, so fun. No matter what time you see it, just go with the midnight mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, have, have a, a cocktail. cocktail. <laughs> have fun with your girls. Yeah. You know? Scream, clap, sing along. You tell me you're not going to applaud when Meg Thee Stallion comes on the screen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You got it. I have to talk about her. I mean, how was it working alongside her? It's, it's, as we've been saying, there's not any really jokes here. It was just amazing. She was so cool, so fun, so dope. And she's very good at singing, dancing, yeah. and rapping. So I think she should stick with that. She's incredible at that. <laughs> she's got something there. Also funny. She's really yeah, funny. Yeah, she was really funny. So truly, we have no jokes. We yeah. just like, we just full, like her. fully have a crush on her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Do you have a quote that you think people will really take away and be quoting for a long time after they see this? A quote from the movie that people will take away. I mean, all love is love. All really. love is love. Yeah. There's a lot. I don't want to put any, yeah, I, don't, we don't I want the audience anything. to find their own quotes. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I don't want to shoehorn them into liking one line. Right. <laughs> I, I agree. I want people to find it for themselves. <laughs> I have to ask, I mean, this is a very queer indie film, but the two leads are straight, right? right. So like, why was that? What was this choice? I always call it straight guy drag. Right. Like in the way that a drag queen is sort of performing in a big way what being a woman is, we are sort of um, two gay guys doing that to straight guys. Straight guy you drag. Know? So it's we're really doing straight guy drag. Representation matters. It's time to see more straight men on the screen. <laughs> we we <laughs> wanted last. to bring those characters to life. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say to audiences on why they should see this movie? Come, October have a riot, 6th. October 6th. Yeah. You're going to have a great time. Get wet, get wild. Yeah.